Hi guys, welcome to Coda Design Lab. This is video number six for employee management system in Laravel. And in this video, we will implement the uh, create feature in the department grid. So let's start to do this. So we have already linked the page. Here you can see we have already linked the page in the previous video. Now we will create the form and submit the data in database. Okay. So I will open the I will open the page create dot blade here okay and here we will create the form let's create the form around the table <coughs> so whenever we create the form in the laravel you need to remember that you have to define the method if method is post then you have to, you need to define this and then action and after that you need to define the csrf token if you are defining the method post okay and then we will we just have one field to submit the data that is a department title so i will put the title here and then we will define this input type text okay and class will be form control okay we can also see the reference on getbootstrap.com because we are also learning bootstrap uh, along with the along with this tutorial so form we will go to the form and here we have form here you can see so the uh, they have this form control class so this will make the input this style okay <clears throat> now we need to also define the name so i will define the name equal to title okay so we have created the form now the action is so what will be the action so action will be we have uh, seen the uh, methods let's uh, go to the methods close this and I'll go to the command line sorry not method command line so I will see php artisan route list <coughs> so here you can see we need we need to call this method store method okay so if we call this method with post then we can store the data so we don't need to define in the routes.php because we in the routes.php we already define the resource so we just need to work in the controller okay so after creating the view we just need to go to the controller and open the department controller and here it's time to save the data so i will here i will uh, i will add the functionality okay so what it will be it will be So this will be depart slash depart. We just need to uh, add depart. Okay. So it will call the store method because we are uh, sending this data as a post uh, as a post method. So this will call the store method in the department controller. Now we will validate this. So request validate and in this validate I will pass the array. Okay. And here. I, this will the first parameter will the first uh, thing will be the name of the form and the second will be required okay so this is the uh, this is the parameter that we need to uh, let's go to the laravel.com and see the other validations so documentation and here you can see validation and let's go to the validation <coughs> So if you go to the here, okay. So here you can see that they have defined all the things, okay. Required, required, if and all the things you can learn. Uh, you can see this step by the one by one, and uh, you can learn lots of things, okay. So I have just put the required, okay. So if uh, this uh, if this math if if this uh, return true, then this will uh, show the error. So now what we will do, we have, we need to put the, we, we are also fetching the department model here. We just need to, if validation is okay, then we need to create the data. So data will be data equal to new department. Okay. And in this new department, we will save the data data. And this is the field of, this is the database field. And now in this database field, we will put the data. Okay. 
and after that we will call the save method okay and after saving the data we will return redirect with we will return redirect with a flash message what will the message let's see data has been submitted okay okay fine and where we want to return we, we will return at depart create at the same uh, page and here we need to put two things that if if session has if session has message if session has message it will determine that session has this key then if session has message then we will print this message in the as a success green text text success okay and here we will put the here we will put the session message okay and we also need to show the uh, validation validation okay so here what we will do if dollar errors any if dollars errors any it will determine the error and if okay then we will run the loop for each i know this is one field but this is best practice to use this so errors all as error okay and for each and here we will print the error in the red text okay so for the red text we will add text danger okay and here we will put the dollar error okay so this will show the error message now go to the create here <coughs> so it is saying the syntax else if something and if and here we need to put and if and refresh the page so we have a title but we didn't put the submit button so i will put the submit button here okay call span 2 and input type submit and i will define the value and value will be let's say submit okay and we also need to define this button button primary this is fine this will be fine now let's say department one let's first uh, test the validation submit this so it is showing title is required okay and let's say department department one and submit okay so data has been submitted okay if you go to the view all then it will show department one okay so <clears throat> now we have submitted uh, now we have submitted the, the data and listing the data it means uh, in the crud operation we performed the read and write operation now we need to perform the update and read operation and this will be do in our next video but one thing do in this video more uh, that uh, we will make this button okay in both pages we will make this button not text so i will open the uh, uh, create and here i will put the class button button sm sm is small and i will say I will say, uh, let's say success. <clears throat> and similarly, I will copy this class and I'll go to the, here you can see it will uh, view all and I'll go to the here and I'll make it class. Okay. Okay. Now, if you go to the button in the search, here we have. So they, you have lots of option to show the button. So here you can see primary, secondary, success, danger, warning. So you just need to put the class and you will see that particular button. Okay. <clears throat> you want to, if you want to explore more, then you can read all the things they have uh, documented very beautifully. So we have performed the create operation. Now in the next, in, in the next section, in the next video, we will perform the update and delete. Okay. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much. And please like, share, subscribe this channel and please add your thoughts, add your thoughts about the, this series, about the next series, about anything, any improvement, any suggestion, anything, any, if you have any query, then you can uh, add this and 
the most important thing i am uploading all the code on github so you can go to this link and uh, you can download the whole source, source code for free of cost okay so <clears throat> so here you can download the things so again thanks for watching this video